Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled, Helping as God Helps Us, was written by Patricia Rabon. Ole Kassau of Copenhagen loved bicycling. One morning, when he saw an elderly man sitting alone with his walker in a park, Ole felt inspired by a simple idea. Why not offer elderly people the joy and freedom of a bike ride? So one sunny day, he stopped at a nursing home with a rented trishaw, a three-wheeled bike, and offered a ride to anyone there. He was delighted when a staff member and an elderly resident became the first riders of Cycling Without Age. Now, more than 20 years later, Ole's dream to help those who miss cycling has blessed some 575,000 elderly people with two and a half million rides. Where? To see a friend, enjoy an ice cream cone, and feel the wind in their hair. Participants say they sleep better, eat better, and feel less lonely. Such a gift brings to life God's beautiful words to His people in Isaiah chapter 58, verses 10 through 11. Help those in trouble, He told them. Then your light will shine out from the darkness, and the darkness around you will be as bright as noon. God promised, The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. God told His people, Some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. What might He do through us? As He helps us, may we always be ready to help others. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Psalm 40, verses 1 through 5. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth. A hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in Him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us, none can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Let's pray. Dear God, sometimes it's the smallest things that make the biggest impact on someone's life. Show us simple ways to help others so they can find life in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Joyce Dinkins, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.